Hi guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome to my new series where I show you what I buy for the week and what I cook for the week. Now I've just filmed, I've just finished editing all the stuff that I filmed throughout this week and you guys are going to see that next but I wanted to talk to you guys about it before you watch it because this, this week was a little bit different. On Friday my brother arrived here. He is uh, he lives in Iceland and he's on his way to Portugal and he has to stop in the UK so he came and spent Friday night, Saturday all day and left this morning which is Sunday uh, very early and he's on his way to Portugal for, to my family's home and so things changed because I wanted to cook him some stuff that we usually eat here. Uh, there was no point in me cooking him Portuguese food because he's going to my mum's and my mum's is the queen. My mum is the queen of Portuguese food. So anyway, so if you guys remember, you saw this menu um, at the beginning. Well, you're going to see it next. Sorry. So a few things have changed. So Friday night, I made chicken korma and I, you guys will see uh, pictures of the food, though I forgot to film the uh, naan breads, which I made from scratch. But if you guys really want to know how I make my naan breads, I can do a recipe because we love eating chicken korma, so I make them all the time. Um, and then I made um, pancakes for breakfast on Saturday morning. I didn't film that because everyone makes pancakes. If you do want to see a recipe of that, let me know and I'll show you. And then lunchtime, I had down to make pizza, um, but I ended up making a tuna melt bagels, which was very nice. I have made, in one of my vlogs, I've put uh, the recipe of how I make the tuna melt. So you guys have seen that. And then for dinner, I had down enchiladas and salad, and my brother wanted to cook us his version of um, carbonara. Uh, he did penne carbonara and it was delicious, guys. It's not for the faint hearted though. Loads of cream, loads and loads of butter, but it was amazing. They'll, you'll have a picture of that, not a recipe, but just, just a picture. So anyway, so that's how the food went. Today, we're gonna be eating leftovers we've got some korma left over from friday so we're going to have that and i'm going to make the enchiladas tonight okay so i hope you enjoy this video and let me have your comments if you're new to my channel please subscribe so you can see other um videos that are coming out and you can have a look through the old ones if you are already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to press the like button and I hope you enjoyed this video. So here's our menu for this week. So I've got feijoada de marisco. That's like a, a bean stew with seafood and, and served with rice. Soup and fresh bread. Eggy cups uh, with baguettes and salad. Sausages, mash and steamed veg. Chicken korma with rice and naan bread. And then, because we have guests from Friday night, um, I've put the breakfast, I'm going to make some pancakes, lunch, pizza and dinner, enchiladas and salad, and then Sunday will be leftovers. I'm going to start with the freezer and fridge stuff, and then I'm going to put that away and show you the rest. So, for the freezer, I've got... Auntie Bessie's apple pie, that was a pound, so it's in promotion. And we've got some guests at the weekend, so that is an easy dessert. Got some vanilla ice cream, this is our favourite, um, also in promotion. I think that was 175. We got some rocket lollies. My husband loves those. Some double cream, some Greek yogurt, uh, some chorizo bites. I'm going to use that in a recipe, some cream cheese some seafood selection I got this as well I saw it's in promotion for a pound and I thought I'd give it a try it's, it's not focusing it says all day body fuel so it's a smooth blend of of whey and fruit 
So it's a pro it's got 20 grams of protein, so I thought that was quite good. Got some smoothies for Alex, four pints of milk. I also got some frozen chicken, some romaine lettuce, some mushrooms, some ham, some chipolatas. They were promotion as well, only a pound. Got some grated cheese, mature cheddar and mozzarella. Loads of butter. I always like having loads of butter in stock, so if I decide to bake, I've always got it. Loads of yogurts, different ones for Alex. Some lemons, some satsumas, some bananas there, some carrots. So that's all the stuff that needs to go in the fridge. I'm going to put that in the fridge and then I'll show you the rest. So here's the rest. Got two loaves of bread. These are Tesco's own. This is a medium slice and that's a toasty slice. Um, I've also got some waffles and crumpets and some of these pre-baked baguettes. That's the one thing I never tried to, I've made them at home, baguettes, but they're too much hassle and these are like 50p for two. So, and you can keep them for a long time. Um, enchilada ki kit, sorry, I'm gonna be doing that the weekend. Uh, jelly babies, some digestive biscuits, ground almonds for my korma. I got to show you earlier some apples, some bin liners, some naff chocolate. Paul really likes this cheap chocolate. I think they're like 40p a tablet. I've got to show you there's some cheese sticks, um, sweet corn, brown sugar, normal sugar, plain flour, bread flour, some basmati rice, some cannellini beans, some cocoa powder. 20 eggs, we always use loads of eggs, um, some passata, tomato ketchup, I really like that, that's a Tesco's own brand and that's fine, um, mayo as well from Tesco's, uh, some chopped tomatoes, there's some Halloween candy, this was all in promotion half price, so it's like pound 25 a bag, so I've got two of the lollies, a mini smarts, Smarties, and some Milky Bar buttons, got some fresh basil, the pot plant, I got some yeast, I'd ordered a pot and because they didn't have it they replace it with the sachets for the same quantity but still charge you only the 99p price of the pot. Right sorry about that I just had to go to the door. So uh, some rice cereals, um, some juice, exotic juice, uh, some more sterilizing tablets, you know, I use this for my cleaning, some soya milk for Paul, some um, toothpaste for Alex, some razors, and I got these, you guys. I didn't realize that Tesco's did the uh, filters for, you know, the Maxtra, excuse the mess, I'm like clearing out all the packaging, for these, the water filters. They do their own version. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's going to work. It does say, oh yeah, three Max Strut compatible. So that's a lot cheaper. There's three in there. I think that was £8.50. So I've got some cat food for the kitties, some wipes and some toilet paper. And I think that's it. So this is the mess from clearing it all. So I'm going to put it all away now. Hi guys, um, so it's Monday afternoon and I've just been watching um, Hilary from My So-Called Home and she made at the weekend some pumpkin cookies and I just had to try it. So this is what this looked like, this is the first batch. They're kind of soft, more like cakey, you know, because of the pumpkin they don't go hard like cookies so they're like biscuity more. And I've made the icing. And this is what I use, the As for Pumpkin Puree. You can get this, this is actually what Hillary used and you can get this in Tesco's, probably in other supermarkets as well, and it uses half a can. So if they turned out to be amazing, I'm gonna make them again sort of towards the weekend. But I thought I'll do those and we'll have some tonight, but I can give some to our friends as well as they do the trick-or-treating. Um, I'm very excited to try them. They look tasty. This recipe is the Betty Crocker's pumpkin cookies recipe 
Uh, I just looked it up online, but I'll put the link below for you guys. Right guys, so you dice an onion and you chop it finely uh, as well as some garlic. Um, I use the very lazy garlic brand which is already chopped and I'm chopping it here in the Thermomix directly but if you're using a normal pan you just do that. See, so it's all nice and cut. Uh, then you add some passata. some olive oil and a carrot. Uh, you cut the carrot into slices and just add that to the previous ingredients. Now guys don't worry there will be a link for, for the recipe down below. You also, I uh, bought some chorizo bites, but you can just use any type of chorizo you like, or you've got access to. Slice it again and add it in. Add some water, some salt and pepper, and then you just cook it for about five minutes on a medium heat. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna start prepping the rice. So I just add water, some bouillon or um, vegetable stock, whatever you prefer. And I like adding a bay leaf. I think it gives the rice a lovely flavor. Then you just boil the water. In the meantime, go back to your food after it's been cooking um, for about five minutes. And you add one can of cannellini beans, uh, including the water that comes with the beans. And you cook that for another five minutes on a medium heat. So my water is boiling for the rice, so I'm just going to add some basmati rice. I don't really measure out the rice. I just, I've been making rice since I was 11, so I've got a I think I've got the science down, if you know what I mean, but um, it's a pretty easy, basic recipe. So the beans have cooked for five minutes. I'm going to taste, make sure that if you need some salt, add salt. Uh, and then you can add your seafood selection. take the time while it's cooking to put away any washing up that is already been drying on the side okay that's looking pretty good the rice is ready as well so now I just dish it out this is an absolutely delicious meal I recommend you guys try really easy and really quick look at that Hi, so dinner tonight is that. Can you guys see? Eggy cups with baguettes and salad. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this recipe is really, really easy. Uh, I'm just gonna bake the pre-baked baguettes um, while they're baking, I spray some olive oil you can use oil or butter whatever you want in my molds and then i just put two slices of ham it's very thin ham so it covers the bottom really well 
and then you can add whatever you like. It can't be too much filling because you need to place an egg uh, as you guys will see. In this case I've just added a little bit of cheese but I also really enjoy a little bit of spinach. Um, I've made five, one for Alex and two for Paul and two for myself and then you just put it, uh, put it in a preheated oven 180 degrees for about 15-20 minutes depending on your oven you can before you put it in you can just add some salt and pepper like I'm doing here and that's it the bread is done so now I can put in um, and here is the dinner so today as you guys can see I have planned sausages and mash with steamy veggies but when I looked at the potatoes they weren't the best for mash so I scrubbed that out I dug out some fresh tuna that I had frozen and I made Russian salad and here is what it looks like now I've done this recipe for you guys before so I'll link it below so you can see it A lovely chicken korma. I will do this recipe step by step for you guys in another week. Hey guys, you don't know this about me, but I love making um, edible gifts for Christmas. One of the things that I make a lot is fudge. Uh, my friends like getting my fudge, but I've started trying new recipes. And yesterday I made peanut butter fudge. Sorry, that's my microwave. And it's so, so good. Really melts in the mouth, really easy recipe. Uh, so look out for that because in December I'm going to post as many videos as I can and it's going to be stuff like food, uh, gift, um, Christmas hauls, Christmas decorations, all of that. I love Christmas so stay tuned for that.
guys so it's Sunday night end of the first week and tomorrow I'm gonna uh, get some more food for the week ahead now I usually get one um, delivery every week from Tesco's but I also go to Aldi once a month now I this month I haven't been to Aldi yet so we're actually gonna go tomorrow uh, so I'm gonna show you my fridge is looking pretty empty there's a few leftovers we've run out of smoothies we've still got some yogurts the cheese and vegetables are looking pretty, pretty small uh, I need to get some more milk and stuff so um, I, what I've done is I've prepared the list for the whole month um, and then I'm going to look through next week's list and I'm also going to check what other meats I've got planned all the way through the month because um, Aldi's meat is really good quality so I might get all the meat at once and then we should be sorted for the month I've so what I've done is I've created the list and for that list I've created a shopping list of all the things I need to buy and I also add to that all the other stuff that's not food like sterilizing liquid and um, rice krispies it, it is food but it's not on the menu as such uh, so I've got stuff like deodorant and um, baking paper that kind of stuff so and that's um, I've gone through the other week's um, menus so like I said to you guys I can buy all the meat there and that's it I'm ready for next week